Hi, this is Victoria Nale and here with me is Professor Peter Cameron. He is the Director of the Center for Energy, Petroleum, Mineral Law and Policy at the University of Dundee. As most of you might know, I've been at the University of Dundee since 2013 and Professor Cameron has been my supervisor ever since then. He is one of the special men who are behind my career advances and I'm so excited that he's going to be talking to you right now. Today we'll have uh, two series of videos. The first one is dedicated to students, those who are interested in doing their master's degree in energy studies, and also those interested in, in PhD in energy studies. And then the second series is de dedicated to practitioners. And in here we'll have three videos. The first one will be covering decommissioning in, of oil and gas installations. And then the second one will be talking about local content provisions. And the third one will explore more on the 21st challenges faced by energy investors. But before we begin, I would like Professor Cameron to introduce himself. Professor Cameron. Well, thank you, Victoria. It's a, a great pleasure to be here. Um, it's also been a great pleasure to, to supervise you and over a very, very short period of time when you, you finished. Um, I'm the, the director of the centre, which has actually been in existence for, for many, many years. Um, and as far as my own role is concerned, I, I'm a professor, I teach, I write. I do a certain amount of, or have done a certain amount of consultancy over the years, mostly for the World Bank. And uh, that's taken me to a number of countries, especially in Africa, uh, Mozambique, I remember, and Ghana, and Nigeria. And in addition to that, now I'm, I'm dealing with um, investment disputes. I'm sitting as a, an arbitrator for the uh, International Center for the Settlement of Investment Disputes in Washington, D.C., which is an interesting experience. Congratulations upon that, Professor Cameron. Uh... So today we want to start with advice to students because I know many students, especially from African countries, they're interested in <coughs> energy studies, energy and mining. And since you've supervised many students, including myself, I thought it would be good for them to hear from you. So we'll start with the master's students. The first question will be focused for the students who are interested in undertaking their master's degree in energy studies. What are the key things these students should look out for when they are undertaking their master's degree? Well, that's, that's a good question. And I, I, I think there are probably two, two parts to the answer there. Um, first of all, the absolutely crucial thing is to aim for the best marks possible. When you're, no matter what you do, what subjects you choose, the key thing is to do well um, because your employer is going to be looking at your grades and how you performed. They're not going to be so bothered about what you studied inside your degree, if it's a law degree, an LLM or an MSc. They want to know that you have done very, very well. And another thing is they want to know that you've actually finished the course so that you're a person who's tough enough to actually complete a job once you've started it. So that that's that's uh, probably uh, the most important thing. And I think the second thing I would say is <clears throat> do be careful in your planning not to not to forget that when you finish and as your career develops, you might have to do some slightly different things than you expected. So getting the degree doesn't mean that you're going to have a career in some area of the energy industry, you might find that you move into a different kind of industry. That's not a problem. The key thing is that somebody's going to look at you and say, well, this is a person that's really talented, really successful. Why maybe that person could be doing something exciting and different and new. And so you might find you get involved in IT, which you'd never expected. So, you know, think broadly about your own future. Thank you very much, Professor Cameron. And then I'll, I'll go on with regard to the question of examination and writing the dissertation. What are the key things do examiners consider, for, especially for students who are doing energy studies? For, for the master's level? Yes, master's level. Well, I think we, we look for, you don't have too much time. 
So nobody's going to think that you're going to be doing a PhD, either in terms of volume or, or depth. So you really have to pick something maybe you know a little bit about already, something you're quite excited about and you're curious to learn more. So basically what, what, you, what you might do is you might find that you, you take a topic that you're really already interested in and then you try and deepen your knowledge um, and remember that the clock's ticking. You, you don't have too much time. You try and get a little bit of originality, which is much easier to do when you know something about it to start with. And then you show that you've really done a lot of reading, a lot of reflecting on the reading. Um, and then you finish on time. Okay, thank you very much. And then for the dissertation, most people struggle with topics to consider when they're doing the dissertation. Could you just give us a brief overview of some of the interesting topics that especially lawyers in energy studies can look out for? I would say, I would say that the trick, and it is a bit of a trick here, but remember you don't have too much time to develop your, your idea. It usually the trick is to define the subject narrowly. This is sometimes so difficult. You, and what we want to know is why, not what is happening, but, but why is something happening? Um, if there's a law, what's, why is it perhaps not working? If you say take local content, why is it that so many laws about local content don't work well? And you might do some comparative uh, analysis, but, but in your question in the title, you really will succeed best if you define it narrowly which is probably what most students don't think of doing. They want to be ambitious, and that's good, but I'm afraid practically it's best to be quite narrow. Thank you very much, Professor Cameron. That marks the end of our first video, and the next one will be uh, advice to PhD students who are undertaking energy studies. Stay tuned. <laughs>